Um, we're going to talk about the FTP site, and the only reason why I brought this up is if you could see some of these sites out there, I don't know how you find anything, really. Um, but first of all, FTP site stands for File Transfer Protocol, and it's most commonly used, as you know, to get your data from the BMV for your vehicle registration. But as Tammy has said and Janie, we do put your settlement forms out there and we put your abstract out there. And the main reason we started putting your abstract out there is because they got mad at my email account because how large it was because of the size of these abstracts I was sending out. So that was the main reason we went to using the FTP site. Now, to organize the site, you're going to do like you do. First of all, how many in here have the actual access to the site in your office? And how many depends on your excise person to access it for you? OK. And so as long as someone has access to it, you need to get them to log in like they normally do when you get into the BMV records. And of course, the next screen is your authentication screen, so you're just going to go ahead and click to continue on that. Now, um, let me apologize to Greene County because yours was the first one I came to that needed a little help. So you're my guinea pig here. But you're going to see, um, when you come in, you're going to see all the counties that are listed. And of course, what you're going to do is you're going to um, find your county and double click on that folder. After you've selected your county, here's Green County. We have one abstract file, one settlement file, and the rest of them are BMV files. And if you look at the dates, it goes all the way back to 2010. So if they're trying to find 2013 stuff, they've got to scroll through 10, 11, and 12. So wouldn't it be nicer to be able to click on a folder to go to what you need? So to um, create the folder on this initial screen, you're going to press your F7 key. And as soon as you press that F7 key, you're going to be coming with this pop-up box. You're going to type in the name of your folder. It's very important that when you name folders, and I don't, and this is applicable to if you're doing it on your system for network files, on your C drive, not only do you want to name it something that means something to you, but so it means something to anybody else that's going to be looking at these files. So if you name it folder one, well, you might know what folder one is, but you know, if you have a new person doing excise, well, what's folder one? You know, so it's got to be a meaningful name. After you put the name in, of course, you're going to click your OK key button. Then, after you create the folder, one thing you'll want to know about your file structures is that folders go in the order of number and then alpha name. OK? And if you organize them alphabetically, that's the way they're going to do. And to move your files, you can either click and drag the file up in there, or you can right click the mouse and select move. So then I ran across, is there any questions so far? OK. Then I ran across to county, which I can't even read at this point. Fulton County, Judy. They've got a nice, clean file structure. So if she wants anything from her 2013, as you can see, she's going to click on 2013 and all it's going to be in there are BMV files from 2013. She doesn't have to scroll through from 2010 onward. Okay. Now, one thing I do want to say is um, 2010, where I see a lot of these stopping, um, it could be due to, I think that was the year new auditors came in. Maybe there were some office changes and people, you know, but it, I find it strange that most of the counties quit organizing their files in 2010. So um, if you're an auditor and you want access to the site or a different person to have access to the site, you need to contact Tamitha Cooper at the BMV. She can get that security set up for you. 
And if you have any questions or don't know what you want to do with your file structure, please don't hesitate to call me because I have access to your site and we can go over it together, how you need to set it up. But just as a word of the wise, you're getting ready to do settlement and it's not really, if you're the person doing settlement and excise, I would put this off as a summer project. Just as I've got to convert old abstract files from Lotus to Excel, that's going to take a long time, so I'm not going to do it right now. Um, but if you have any questions on the FTP side, we're more than happy to help you. And if you have problems with security, can I give you a hint? I know it says if you have problems with security, call the help desk. Don't call them. Call me or Tabitha, um, be Tamitha, because that got some county completely removed. So. <laughs> because um, they didn't understand the process. So don't use the help desk if you have problems, call Tamitha or myself. You know, I'm not sure. The question was, can an office have more than one access? Yes, they can. Okay, you guys found out something new I didn't. So we need to call Tamitha to get an additional access to the site. Is there any other questions?